Magna and welcome back to my modding tutorial series for Rome 2 Total War. In this episode I'm going to show you how to do some basics with uh, gloss maps and with specular maps. Um, first thing, let's jump in and check out what I'm actually talking about. So we go to uh, where we've extracted the vanilla models. And then we're going to go back to armor again just so we can See a bit better. Okay, so if you look here, these are the four types of textures which most uh, models will have. This one doesn't have a specular. Uh, these ones do. This one here also has a specular here. Um, so we've already gone through these two file types. Now, gloss maps determine uh, the light reflection off the model. Uh, green is where there'll be a lot more light reflected and red much less. Um, and specular maps you can kind of work with to give different uh, feel to the texture. Kind of really make the um, material whatever it is really look different. With specular maps I'm just going to show you something really basic which is just a cop out really. Um, but I'll also put a link to a video tutorial which I found quite interesting regarding specular maps down below. So I recommend that you check that out if you're interested in working with specular maps. So as with the last episode we, when, when we did the normal maps let's start with the diffuse. I'll open it up in GIMP because that's what I'm going to be working with. Uh, I don't load the MIP maps. Okay. So with a specular map, all I do really is I just make it uh, grayscale. And that's, yeah, <laughs> nothing fancy going on there. So all I do here is I go to hue and saturation, and then I just, oh, wrong way. Actually, sorry, I go to saturation, <laughs> um, and I take it all the way down. And that's my uh, specular map. You see here, specular maps, they'll kind of just look grayscale. Um, if you want to do more with the specular maps, then other tutorials can show you them, all the artistic side. Um, also, this link, the link down in the comments. And then we save it. Saving it, we export as with GIMP. With uh, Photoshop, you can just save and then choose the DDS f format. Uh, then we export it. Now let's firstly um, make sure it's going to the right place. So we don't want it going to vanilla extracted, we want it going to our whip, armor, text, and let's call it tutorial. And it's not a diffuse, it's a specular. Again, what you call it doesn't really matter. It doesn't even have to have specular in there, but I would, like I said in my last episode, I recommend using it so that when you don't have it in thumbnail view, you know which what it is. It helps there. Okay, so now we can export it. Make sure that to generate MIP maps. Uh, and on what size do we want to have? Okay, specular. We want to have. We want it to be 171 kilobytes. So let's change the format. I'm not actually sure. I'm just, I'm just going to try it out and see what we get. Okay, let's try this one. Oh no, let's try just try DXT one. Okay, now let's what file size are we working? Oh, there we go. 171. So that's right. So I've got to pick the right file format. So it's DXT1 for the specular to get that file size. Obviously, last episode we picked uh, DXT5 for the normal, so it's got a much larger file size. Okay, gloss, gloss maps now. We're going to work with the same file. Because what I do with gloss map is I generally make it grayscale. Uh, there are a number of different ways you can 
do a gloss map but I generally just go something quick because I'm not a great graphics artist so I just want to do it quick so then I'll go to uh, levels and I'll pick the red channel oh sorry no I don't do this <laughs> I mean you can do that to make it red but what I do is add a layer add a new layer on top red overlay, yeah sure why not and then I can just do the red first and I pick a red color and you can play with this bang and then we're going to change the opacity you can compare this to the vanilla stuff and you can play around with it to get the desired effect um, So there's all different types of uh, vanilla gloss maps. So this is completely uh, metal, so they want to have a lot of green on the on the armor to re really reflect reflect the light. However, the gloss uh, the gloss map for the linothorax, where it's probably a leather or a cotton or something uh, or linen, is um, quite dark except for the metal part here. So that's you can see here they've made that green. Um, so then you can just let's change that opacity a little more. Okay, and then we can just paint over in green. Pick a green, any green. I've got a very large brush here, so just you might want to pay a bit more attention than I do to it. And we paint that. You can also select the layer, uh, select the area, and do it. But this is just to highlight. A very quick way of doing it. Bang. Um, and then we can, like the other ones, let's export it. Uh, okay, now it's going to the right place, and we can just change it to gloss map. Not bad. Gloss map. Okay, what file size do we want to have for it? So the one we've been working with is the A. Properties. Ah, it's the same size as the other one, so I'm guessing it's going to be the same format. So let's export that. Generate mipmaps. Well, just to highlight it, I'm going to pick a different format and show that the size will be different again. So look here. Oh, gloss maps, wrong format and size. It's wrong. But it's the same as the normal. Okay, so the normal you want to do DXT5 regardless. But uh, yeah, this one we're going to have to redo. That's DXT1. Okay, and now it's the right format. So adding these files to the model as I said with the last episode is exactly the same as episode 8 where I added the uh, diffuse to the uh, to the unit and to the model so if you want to refresh how to do that just watch episode 8 uh, to get that information all right that's all for to, for this episode so thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time